For recipe notifications, do not forget to subscribe to Get Curried and click on the bell icon. Harry Potter is a film that works wonders on our minds, encapsulating us with its wizardry. But beyond that, in my opinion, I feel it's a story of friendship, loving and caring. The great halls, of course, and the indulgent feasts have always held me with bated breath. Today, on that note, I am making treacle tart from the film. Hey guys, it's Varun Namdar and welcome to Khana Pina or Cinema. For the treacle tart, the first thing, of course, is to get that tart base correct. Now, you've seen a lot of recipes in which they call for cold ingredients. But this one, I'm making it absolutely quick and easy. For this, I've taken refined flour and to this, I'm adding in soft butter. Let's first give this a mix. The texture and consistency of refined flour and butter needs to be like breadcrumbs, like how we usually do for tarts. And that is done best using fingers. Once you attain that, the next ingredient that goes in is caster sugar. Let's mix this well. And this all needs to come together using milk or water or eggs. What I'm using here is water. Our dough for the tart is ready. Now this needs to rest for 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature. But in the interim, let's start making the filling. For this, we need a pan. We need to turn the flame on. The first ingredient, of course, because it's a treacle tart, is treacle. But if you do not get this, of course, you can use molasses. My mouth is already watering. You can use honey, you can use maple. That's a personal choice. But because it's a treacle tart, it's mandatory. Once the treacle just kind of begins to simmer, the next ingredient that goes in is fresh cream. Stir this well. And next goes in almond powder. Well, you can also use walnut or cashews, but this one works best with almonds. Let's give this a mix. And to this mixture for binding and for body, I'm going to add in breadcrumbs. Well, this is nothing but fresh bread, which is run into a mixer grinder. And there you have fresh breadcrumbs. Let's give this a mix. And with this, of course, the flame. We need to transfer this into a bowl for it to cool down to room temperature because the next ingredient that goes in is a whole egg. If the egg curdles, then that's the end of this tart. So let's transfer this. And to cool down, this is going to take around 10 to 15 minutes. And simultaneously, if you remember, we had also kept the dough to kind of rest. So both of these now rest for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Our tart dough has rested well and our mixture has also relatively cooled down. Let's add in two more ingredients. The first one is a whole egg. And to this, just to balance the flavors, I'm adding in a pinch of salt. But remember, the bread would also have salt and the butter as well. Let's give this a mix. We need to give this mixture a good mix and keep it aside and move on to making the tart. Well, for that, let's get this out of the wet cloth and pat this on the working table. We just kind of need to get this together and roll this to roughly around one centimeter thickness. We need to lift this carefully and transfer this into a tart mold. We need to press this carefully on all the sides and ensure that the thickness is kind of even. We can pinch a little dough from here and there and paste it together so that you get a kind of even crust on the tart. Comes the next step. We need to take a sharp knife and slice off the ends of the tart like so. Well, this is a step to make sure the tart gets a nice and even edge. Your tart base is done and ready. Now this goes in the freezer for precisely 10 minutes so that the butter kind of congeals and comes together. The tart has become nice and cold now. The next step is to blind bake this. And by that, I mean to line this with a butter paper and fill this up with some grains. Anything for that matter. You can use chickpeas, you can use rice, chana, moong, anything that kind of builds a little bit of weight so that the tart doesn't puff and rise. Now this next goes in the oven to bake at 200 degrees Celsius for precisely 8 minutes.
With this, our tart base is half baked and ready. The next step is to move out the butter paper and the grains of rice. And the next step is to fill this with the treacle mix. We need to spread this nicely and evenly and a simpler trick to that is to dip the back of your spoon in a bowl of water and spread it like so. This is spread evenly. Now that the filling has been nicely leveled up, the next step of course is to bake it for one more time and this time for 12 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Our treacle tart is baked and ready, but before demolding this, allow this to settle and rest for 5 minutes. With this, our magical and sweet treacle tart from the movie Harry Potter is done and ready. Enjoy this with your family and friends. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to Get Curried.